I want to show you a new toy I got and I'm playing with. This is a air quality meter. Um, it runs off of a plug that's a USB plug. You can either plug it into a USB phone adapter or battery operate it. Um, it actually also has a built-in battery inside so you can unplug it and it'll keep running for a couple of hours on its own but um, it will only go for a couple of hours and this is the type of thing you'd kind of leave sitting on a counter so you're probably going to plan on plugging it in most of the time. I got interested because I read about people using it as a um, indoor ventilation monitor. So they were using um, carbon dioxide as a proxy for how well ventilated an indoor space is. Um, so if you're outside, your carbon dioxide is going to be something like 250 to 450 parts per million. Most indoor places is higher than that, you know, 400 to 1,000. Um, and if you have really poor ventilation, stuffiness, drowsiness, um, it might be 2,000 to 500 or 5,000 parts per million. And so people are using these to say, okay, how well is my space ventilated? The lower the carbon dioxide, the better the ventilation is. This kind of assumes that there's some people inside making carbon dioxide, and if it's ventilated well, that carbon dioxide gets exhausted in exchange for outside air. Um, but it also has other sensors. So there's carbon monoxide, which is the stuff that will kill you fast. Um, so, you know, from 0.5 to 5 parts per million is normal. You can see mine here has suddenly jumped up to 111. Um, it was much lower than that when um, I had it sitting over here on the counter. Um, also, I've noticed that if you breathe into these slots in the back, it will start picking up things. And I'm not sure if that's the humidity or the heat or the actual carbon dioxide that my breath is putting out. Um, so right now my carbon dioxide numbers have gone up to 1800, you know, which is poor indoor air quality. Um, there's also formaldehyde, HCHO, um, and you're not supposed to go above 0 0.01 parts per million. When I started blowing on it, this thing went off the scale. Um, but earlier it was like 0 0.03, you know, a perfectly acceptable um, level. And it has TVOC, which is total volatile organic compounds. And those are usually supposed to be less than, you know, 0.5 milligrams. And you can see mine's jumped up really high because I was breathing on this thing. Maybe I just had bad breath. Um, so when it's just sitting outside, it has relatively low numbers for a while. And this guy here, you know, varies over time slowly. And so you have to let it sit for a while to kind of get a overall reading for your space. You don't want to be blowing into it like I just did. Um, I did have some fun with it. I took it into the garage and I did some Bondo work, um, which made the TVOC jump sky high. Um, normally I would open my garage doors while doing Bondo work, even though I'm wearing the full face respirator, the, the organic uh, respirator when doing this, I would normally open the garage door. But in this case I didn't, just to check out the meter and watch the TVOCs jump really high. Um, so I can, you can buy these for about $40 to $60 on Amazon. I got one for $35 bucks on eBay. Um, of course you have to wait a couple of weeks for shipping from China if you go that route. Um, so if you want one quickly, you need to buy it locally. Um, but I have no idea how accurate the sensors are, but they seem to be in the right ranges. When I take it outside, it goes into what I would expect for an outdoor range. When I bring it inside, it does what I expect for an indoor range. When I start doing Bondo around it, the TVOC jumps up pretty high. Um, AQI is an air quality index. And I don't think it's the EPA's air quality index. It might be a Chinese air quality index that basically takes all these numbers and boils them down to a number. And the bigger the number, the worse the air quality. Um, but I just don't use that one here in the U.S. So all in all, um, kind of interesting. I like measurement tools and being able to measure new things. And so it's just another sensor suite that you can measure your air quality with. One other thing to know is that when you first turn this guy on, there's a warm-up period. So it takes about two minutes for all the sensors to warm up and settle. And so while that's happening, your carbon monoxide is counting up ominously, but you know it's doing the warm-up period because there's just dashes everywhere else. And once that gets through, then it goes to its standard display.